Imagine a situation. A temporary situation. Long or short, but temporary. Like this. A temporary situation not because you don't want it to last, but because it's the nature of a situation to be temporary. One thing leads to the next and the next and the next. And suddenly, the situation you have been in for so long, or so short, is over. The situation is over and it will never come back. And you are desperate for it to last, but it's over. And so you look for a means of transportation to drive back to where it started. And you drive. You drive all day and night and night and day, going back to where it started. But when you arrive, there is nothing left of that situation that you remember so vividly, so dearly. And you stand bewildered, lost, disappearing as a new situation arises, with a new breath, and a new set of clothes. And you wonder where to go. Where do you go? Why to go? How do you go? Do you go? What goes? And you decide anything goes. You go, she goes, it goes, like this, like that, like you know exactly where you are going. Long strides, short strides, pleated, folded, sharp, and you go. How vivid you think, it's going well. In fact, it's going exactly the way you want it to go. It's one of the best situations you've ever been in. Bodies, heartbeats, a rising in temperature. Look, it's moving. Why to go? Hold on, it's vivid. Who would leave now? I wouldn't. Don't. Where are you going? And when it suddenly ends, you find yourself at a loss for words. No heartbeat.
stillness, as in driven by stillness, or still moving. How do you do? I'm still moving. And you stand there inside your body, still moving. A temporary situation, but on a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being a very short situation such as the brief moment when you open a door, and 10 being the longest possible time span, this temporary situation is a 10, still moving. Anything goes as your body carves its way to the next and the next and the next situation like a plow or a snow befallen boot. Still moving. Like a highway or a passage or a right of passage or a street, a tunnel, a line, a finish line. Do you find yourself at a loss for words when you cross the finish line? Or a loss of a heartbeat when you've driven all night? Inside your body is a situation that cannot be expressed through words when you cross the finish line. There you stand waiting for the next situation to arise, to reveal itself, for you to grasp its full scope and to walk into it like you mean it, like you are one with your heartbeat, like that. And as you stand there, you notice a dropping in temperature. Sure, it could be your own nudity or a sudden change of season, but going back is not an option. Who would opt for going back? I wouldn't. You wouldn't. They wouldn't.